okay, like, <laughs> do I go through that? I mean, I'll go a little bit in just so you can see. Like, look at that. It's like, like people aren't like Google. This isn't a road, Google. Like. <laughs> What is going on YouTube? Greetings from Nakhon Sawan, Thailand. That's where I'm at right now. I've been here for three days. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I was in a motorcycle wreck. So I decided to stay in this little town right here, kind of recover a little bit. I'm a little bit sore today, but I feel much better. Thanks for all the well wishes uh, on the last video. Um, the bike's all packed up and I'm gonna be driving I think three hours today to a town called Tack. And so that should be interesting. I've never been there before. And then the next day or the day after maybe, it'll be like a four hour drive into Chiang Mai. So the bike's all packed up already. I didn't bore you with that. I am gonna go, before I leave this town, I'm gonna go to a Big C, which is, I don't know, kind of like a super Walmart, but on steroids. And I'm gonna go try, get it, try to get a new motorbike helmet my front clear face shield busted off there i know a lot of you want me to get a full face helmet so i'll probably do that today i'm also going to get some more protective gear uh definitely gloves because had i had gloves on i wouldn't be injured so bad i'm wearing long sleeve shirt today had i had a long sleeve shirt i wouldn't have all the the road rash i have um and maybe a jacket if i can find one and maybe pants although in a town like this where there's not a whole lot of westerners it probably will be pretty hard to find pants in my size. Um, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over to the big C and then we're going to uh, to head up the tack. Sorry about the, the bird <laughs> in the background. He's pretty loud. All right, let's go. One thing that Thailand has that we don't really have in America anymore, in the US, and probably some other Western countries, is they still have a mall culture like crazy. Um, there's big mega malls everywhere and, they're, and people love them. Uh, and you know, I kind of like them too, actually. I didn't realize I would like them. It's been so long since we've had that in the US, really. All right, so this is the big C. There we go, motorcycle. Oh, wait, tell me to go right. Uh, let's see if we can find some motorcycle parking. They always have these little corrals for motorcycles. Looks like here's the motorcycle corral over here. All right. Yeah, we'll go all by my, all by my lonesome over here. Go in the store. And uh, get some protective gear. I'll show you. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out how to get into this big city. Look at all these like food vendors. It's pretty cool. Yeah, these big seas are usually called big for a reason. They're usually multiple floors. I usually say they're kind of like super WalMarts is the way to describe them, but they're much more than that actually. All right, here we go. It just opened, so you kind of see there's like all kinds of other stores besides just the, uh, the big C. You know, there's cell phone stores and all kinds of other stores. I know they sell helmets here because I bought my last helmet here. So I know they sell them here. Just got to find them. All those motorbike helmets. Hopefully, Hopefully they'll fit me. That's always sometimes an issue here. Let's see if they got gloves. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Oh, there's some gloves right there. Okay, good. Okay, we're back in the garage. So I bought some gloves. I, they're actually ridiculous looking, but they were the only ones that fit, even though they like barely, I mean, they barely fit. I got like big giant hands. So I just couldn't find any of my size. Um, the more like hardcore ones with the plating on the outside, they just didn't, wouldn't fit my hands. So 
but at least I have some hand protection now, even though they look ridiculous. I guess that's kind of bubble bumblebee motif, but I'll get a better pair whenever I get to Chiang Mai and go to actual motorcycle shop, motorcycle shop. So I bought this helmet that's very similar to my last one, except for it is full face now. Uh, it doesn't have the sunshades, which kind of sucks, but um, it's the only one to fit me. And so that's the one I got. So yeah, they didn't have a motorcycle jacket. I'm, I feel comfortable with the long sleeve and uh, at, at some point I'll get pants as well. I'm not so much worried about my legs. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing anything. Something doesn't happen today. But yeah, so uh, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna hop on the road. Like I said, it's about a three hour drive and I'll uh, share a bit of it with you. And then uh, I'll give you a tour of my hotel when I get to TAK, T-A-K, TAK. All right, so let's go. So this ride is about three hours. It's, uh, it says I got 182 kilometers left. When I put up the graphic of how far it is and how long it's gonna take, that's in automobile time, like driving in a car on highways. When I put it in my GPS here, I put no highways, no tollways, and on a motorcycle, because there's certain roads here that don't allow motorcycles. So that's why it's always um, less time when I post the graphic, kind of showing you from where I'm going, you know, where I'm leaving from to where I'm going. Yeah, I'm really upset that I didn't get to explore this town anymore. I was just too sore, kind of wanted to recover, so I just kind of hung out in the hotel. The hotel was awesome. The hotel staff, uh, a bunch of older Thai ladies, they kept coming in and trying to take care of me. I'm like, no, no, I'm fine, but they bring me extra water and things like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were really, really sweet. Ooh, so I saw this uh, <laughs> as I'm driving on the highway. I didn't have my GoPro on, but I figured I'd stop and show you this. So these kind of Buddha type statues and temples are everywhere uh, in Thailand. As you're driving down the highway, I mean, like on this, you know, I don't know, 100 and whatever kilometer drive, there's probably probably 30 or 40 things like this, temples, statues, uh, it's pretty cool. But you can see, I'll zoom in here a little bit. It's beautiful. It's really cool. Oh, also, uh, some people asked me about my GoPro setup. Some people thought I was actually holding the GoPro when I was, you know, wrecking on my motorbike. I wasn't holding it. Uh, it's hooked up to my motorbike here, so it like goes back and forth like that. So, all right, I'm gonna jump back on the road. So far, this helmet's working out pretty great. We're actually getting ready to get off the highway here. I've been driving for about two hours now and it's just been all highway driving. Pretty uneventful, which I guess after the events of my last ride, uneventful is probably a good thing. Um, but now we're gonna go and we're gonna take a little side road um, for the rest of the way. We've got about 30, 30 something kilometers. So, um, I don't know what this is going to be like, but we're going to get off the highway. Kind of, <laughs> you know, obviously after the last getting off the highway scene, definitely going to be very, very cautious. Um, so <laughs> that'll definitely happen. But we're, get, we're getting ready to cross a river up here called the Ping River. So I don't know if you know. You know, if you're familiar with Thailand, maybe you know something about the Ping River. I don't know anything about it. But uh, we're going to be crossing it here in a second. I don't know if you can see, there's like a temple up there. Big gold temple up that way. 
guys, so this should be interesting. I, I have no idea, no idea what this road's gonna be like. It was just an alternate route that was recommended to me by GPS. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> 34 miles down this road. That cannot be right. I wonder if this turns into, we'll go down it a little bit just to see. How can this come up on Google Maps? Like, how can this be a recommended route on Google Maps? Like, how can this be a recommended route, Google? <laughs> I feel like I'm going through like a sacred type of a place or something. What the freaking heck? I don't know if we're gonna do this. Seems like it would take more than 34 minutes. Six hundred meters turn right, maybe. It turns into something up here. Let's see if I can get around these guys. Here. This just does not seem like a good idea. There's like all of these like I wonder if these are like burials. And I really feel like I might, maybe shouldn't go this way. Those Thai people were looking at me like I was nuts. I am hoping it's just like a road that turns into another road, like, like a paved road. There's a river up here, so there's gotta be a bridge. What? Like Google, like what are you doing? Google? <laughs> and this is, well, eventually it turns into a marked road called 104. What? And this, can, this cannot be right. Like, <laughs> do I go through that? She may cricket. Hmm. Like, I'm not dressed accordingly for this. There's like snake. There's like very venomous cobras up north in uh, in Thailand. Huh. If I had an adventure bike, I would do this. But I'm not doing this on a moped. Ah, oh, man. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you this. I'm trying to get my GoPro off here. Look. Google's like, go this way. Like Google's telling me to do this. Like this is a Google road. <laughs> Like I see normal roads up here, so it kind of tells me at some point this will turn into a normal road, but I don't know how long I have to go through stuff like that. And that's just, I can't do that. Like just, if I knew how long I had to do that, I would do it, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go back, get on the normal highway. It kind of sucks because I think it would be a cool adventure. I know there's monkeys up here up north too. Trying to see if I see any. All right, yeah, I'm gonna turn. I, there's no way I can go that way. Like, I mean, I'll go a little bit in just so you can see. Like, look at that. It's like, like people aren't like Google. This isn't a road, Google. Like, <laughs> God. 
Like, what if someone was in a car and came down this way? Because Google was telling them to come this way. <laughs> All right. Well, that was just weird. It's like all these fields here. Like, I feel like I'm going through private land. And those Thai people that were working out there, they looked at me like I was freaking nuts. And then there's all these, like, I'll show you. I'll show you up here. I don't know what these sites are. I don't want to be disrespectful. So I'm not going to go prancing around it but you'll see these little like there's a little one here oh it's like maybe it was a little kid they, they've actually got like they've actually got stuff on it like honoring whatever this is does anybody know what that is and there's a bigger one over here and there's just a ton of them as you go through here a ton of these like little are these graves yeah, I don't want to stay here long. I feel like I feel like these are people's graves or something. If you know what those are, say it down in the comments. I definitely don't want to. There's there's people over there. I don't want to disrespect anybody's uh, anybody's grave or any sacred site or something like that. Yeah, there's people over here to my right working. I don't know if you see that over there. Yeah, there's people over there working. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what the deal is here. Just something doesn't seem kosher. And like I said, if I had an adventure bike, I would have tried to make it. Because I think at some point, it's going to turn into a normal road. I mean, there's a bridge, so and there's a lot of farming and there's all these ceremonial things. There's a big one right here. These ones are more cleaned up than those ones that were deeper in. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. I don't know what those are. I mean, it seems like there's some kind of grave or something. I can't believe Google took me down there. Like, Jesus. Like, <laughs> what the heck? All right, we're going to get back. We're going to get back on the main highway here. To figure out how to get back to where I'm going. I gotta do a U-turn up here, so kinda kinda gotta figure this out. Oh you know. Oh this is where I was earlier. There's the uh There's the big Buddha. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I actually think I found a way to that 104 without having to go through the jungle. So we're gonna see if I can get there. I don't know if this will be another wacky way again, but we'll see. We'll go try it, see if we can get over there. comes the left I don't see a normal road all right let's see it says it's right here you've got to be kidding me 
This is a, at least it's a little bit more developed, right? Let's give it a go. Why not? Okay, you know, actually, it's paved a little bit. Okay, it's paved. All right, let's see if we can get this 104 is coming up. Ah, uh, there's a dog. I worry about these dogs, man, because they're not used to seeing. Whoops, see, that one just popped up on me. I think he was more scared than anything because I was. I'm not going very fast, so I think he was just scared. All right. Definitely I'm not going to speed through this. This seems like prime, uh, prime big lizard <laughs> area. Well, this is pretty out here. I definitely prefer this to being on the highway. But man, if I if I got in some kind of wreck out here, <laughs> oh man, I don't know how I would get someone to find me. I should probably do these trips with multiple people. Looks like I'm gonna. Looks like coming up is a left, which should get me onto some sort of main road. 104 is what it says. I mean, it's a it's a numbered road where you know the other one, this one and the other one I was on, they weren't numbered. So this looks like 104. So had I went to the jungle, I think I would have ended up here on this thing, whatever this is. So this is a more developed road. I'm okay with this. Although again, this is like, to me, primary like big lizard area. So <laughs> I wanna make sure that I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Every shadow, all the, you see all the shadows in front of me? All of them have looked like lizards to me today, you know? And I guess that's something I'm probably gonna go through for a while now on the road. There's a bunch of dogs up here, look at this. I don't wanna slow down too much because I don't want them to chase me. But I know you guys love the dogs. Here's a, here's a few right here. Yeah, they're, oh, okay, good, they didn't chase. We're going up in elevation, so maybe this is, Gonna be a nice little ride. This is good. This is cool. It's nice and scenic. So right up here to the left is the road that my little dirt road would have left led to. So this road right here, that dirt road I was on would have led me to this. And now we're gonna go right here towards Tack. Oh look at this. I don't know what this is, but some kind of Buddhist temple back here probably. I don't know. Oh, actually hold on. There's big white Buddha over here. I don't know if you can see him. I'll get a little bit close. I don't know if this is like private land or, or what, but look at that. That's pretty cool. It's like surrounded by sand too. Huh, that's cool. We're gonna go this way. There's a couple dogs. Oh, the dogs are getting up. They're coming at me. Oh, let me go this way. Yeah, you know what? I'll go this way. They're just, they're just scared. They're not, they don't want to mess with me. Whoop, oh, one of them's chasing me. All right, he quit chasing me, but that was scary. That was scary. All right, here we go. We got a, we got a river here in front of us. Crossing. It's a nice bridge. All right, that's the Ping River, so I don't know anything about it. So if you know anything about the Ping River, I'm gonna pull over here so this car can pass me. It's a little scary with that dog. Whew. Man, normally the dogs here are pretty nice. They're pretty, but I know, you know, you get out on these rural roads. I mean, I'm from Missouri and you get down on a rural road in Missouri, nobody leashes their dog and you know, pit bulls are chasing you around, you know? So, um, I kind of know what happens <laughs> with rural dogs when, you, when you're not familiar to them. Whoa. Let's go back and see that. Let's go back and see that. Let me show you something. Wait till this car goes by. Oh man. 
I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to get too close because there are some extremely venomous snakes here in Thailand. It's just a huge snake. It's definitely got a diamond head, so it's definitely one of the poisonous versions, but he was obviously hit by a car. He actually moved a little bit when that car went over him, so I didn't hit him. He was already hit. All right, I'm going to... I just wanted to show you that though. There's a lot of uh, a lot of big snakes here. Look how pretty this area is. It's just all these like storks or something, some kind of bird. Oh, I just spooked them. I can see them flying a little bit. Bunch of storks. Assuming those are like rice paddies or something, rice fields or whatever. All right. It's so pretty back here. There's like all these palm trees and but it's also very open. You know, it's very open. It's kind of jungly. You know, jungly, I don't know if that's a word. It's kind of tropical, um, rainforest, jungle type of environment, but also a lot of openness because of the, I'm assuming because of the, the, the agriculture. So it's kind of cool. Okay, the back roads have definitely transitioned back into city roads. And this must be a big city because this is like five lane highway or five lanes on both sides. It actually smells really good here too. Oh, like there must be like flower trees or something. It smells like really floral here. And so my hotel's up here on the left. There it is. My hotel is called Soho. Huh. It looks pretty cool. I don't know where I parked my motorbike. I'll be back after I figure out we're in the right place here. Look at these crazy, crazy gloves. Hey. So I'm all checked in. <laughs> this hotel is pretty awesome. It's called the Soho Boutique Hotel in TAC. I want to say it was like $23, $24 a night on um, Agoda. I think I had a a, um, a coupon too so it made it like $21 a night and I picked this place because it said it was it like had a 9.2 cleanliness factor I know I mentioned this on other videos but cleanliness is my number one um, um, criteria that's my priority so I'll, that's the first thing I look at I sort all the hotels by cleanliness I don't care if you're a 90 hotel if your cleanliness is 7.5 I'm not staying at your hotel because there's a chance that it's gonna be grimy when I get there. So let me put my mask up here. We'll go in, we'll check out the hotel uh, hotel room. I'll give you a tour. And I'm trying to do this like this is a little bit crazy. We'll make it work. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you still got a mask up here. But you'll notice as we go in, you'll hear all this Christmas music. It's Christmas music, a Christmas motif going on. Check it out. Can you hear it? Got some Christmas music going on. Oh, cool little scene here, like Christmas kangaroo. <laughs> All right. A lot of breath. All right, throw my bags down here. I'll give you a little tour. I'm only on the second floor, so I'm not gonna have some great, amazing view. But I do, looks like, at least I got some uh, wooded area, not city. But 
let's take a look. All right, so we got the king size bed there. And we've got this little bench here. TV. I don't really know what this is. <laughs> Maybe like a little desk area. This is concrete. I guess they're going for that New York look, you know, that Soho look. Oh, actually, where's my card here? Oh, where to put my card? Oh, there it is. All right, it looks like I need to have that in to get the old electricity going. There we go, okay. All right, so bathroom. Sorry, this is not an organized tour here. Looks like a little walk-in shower. Yeah, this is nice. It's got a nice little, little, uh, nice little vibe to it. I like it. All right, so that was a pretty uneventful ride today. Um, <laughs> and like I said earlier, I guess uneventful is, is good. It's not, it doesn't make for great YouTube, but uh, it makes for you know a healthier, healthier Kevin, I guess. But um, yeah, so I think I'm only gonna stay here one night. And then I'm going to head over to, I don't know where I'm going to head to after here. I'm not going to go all the way up to Chiang Mai. I'm going to do one more overnight somewhere else. And then the next night I'll go to Chiang Mai. That's when I check into my Airbnb. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next video.